What's going on everyone, CWG here, welcome to episode 53 on the Vault Hunters SMP. As you saw from the title of the video, we have 1,581 Relic Booster Packs to open. Who's ready? Also, did you know number 53 is the racing number for Herbie? Interesting. So let's go ahead and grab our 1,500 Relic Booster Packs. And if you didn't know, Relic Booster Packs also give you a little bit of experience. So I'm wondering if we can get to level 72 from all these Relic Booster Packs. Also, we did a live stream yesterday in which we managed to get three more Relic Statues. Nice. Yeah, we got really lucky with the Relic Rolls. So I'm hoping we get some more Relics out of these Booster Packs to maybe make another statue. Because right here, each one adds you 30 seconds of vault time. So we're up to three minutes total. And I keep picking up these eggs thanks to my magnet. I don't know where the eggs keep getting laid from. Is it you, Mr. Chicken in the Cage? Hmm? Well, we got a lot of Relic Booster Packs to open, so let's go! And we did it! We opened 1,500 Relic Booster Packs, and wow, it looks like we got a bunch of Relics. I recognize some of them, but some of them I don't think we have yet. So let's go ahead and check our collection over here in our top boss crate. So these are the Wings of Equity from the Shield Man set. Now we already made the Shield Man set once, and if you actually make a Relic set twice, you could smelt it into a bitter lemon, which will, uh, it gives you temporary vault time if you eat it while in the vault. All right, we already got Dragon Breath, we already got the Armor, the Fire we already have, we already have the Charm, we already have the Heart, uh, the Cupcake one. Ooh, that's a new one. Okay, we just need one more of the Cupcakes, and I think we got it right here. Sweet! So we got another Relic for the Cupcake set. Nice. Then we have, what is this, from the Miner set, so that goes here. We already made the Miner one once. This is from the Warrior set we already have, and this is from the Miner set as well. So sweet, we managed to get a relic from that, so I am not upset. Let's go ahead and make our cupcake set relic. And we now have our seventh relic statue. Let's go put it in the starter base. And here we go. Here's our cupcake statue. It looks kind of cute. And now we have a permanent three and a half minutes in the vault. Also, uh, something kind of got built, I guess. There's a massive orb. I guess there's some kind of orb cult going on on the server. And there's just a giant orb here now, and it looks like the cod got moved inside of the orb. It's a, it's a swimming in the orb. And yeah, that, that's interesting, for sure. Now, if you are observant, you would notice in the bottom right of my hotbar, I have these blue cookies. They're called the Biscuits of Totality. You get these by dipping cookies in the mana pool. So uh, I could use 32 more, so let's make some more cookies. The cookies are pretty cheap to build, just cocoa and wheat, and we got plenty of that stuff. Oh, and if you look at our levels now, we're level 72 now, and I know you guys keep leaving me in the comments that shows that it's at level 75. We'll catch up, don't worry. The race is to level 100, not 75. So let's pick a mana pool. By the way, our battery is filling up quite nicely. In fact, this pool right here looks almost full, so let's just throw in all the cookies. It actually uses a decent amount of mana to make these cookies, but it's definitely worth it, because let me show you how good they are. Now, as you can see from our hunger bar, we only have three haunches. Let's see what happens if we eat just one of these biscuits of totality. Whoop. Yep, that's right. Full hunger and full saturation. Nice. So they're pretty much the best food source you could get. Now next, I was uh, throwing our statues into the cauldron as we do, and I got another Omega statue. Uh, fortunately, I wasn't recording because I, I thought I had a bit more time, but apparently uh, we just got another Omega. So let us see what our newest Omega to the squad is going to be. I hope we get a good resource here. We get SpaceX Ted, Diorite, Stone, Travertine, or Clay. Now, we already have diorite and stone, but clay, that's one we don't have yet, and that's annoying to get, so I think we're definitely going to go with clay. That is a large underwear man. And y'all know the drill by now. Leave your Minecraft username in the comments below, and you have a chance to become this Omega statue and replace the underwear man and become my clay producer for the rest of your life. Oh, baby! Take a look around. We got all of our ores and nice, beautiful pyramids, as you can see. Uh, yeah, the ore attic was getting pretty full, so it's time to satisfyingly fortune everything again instead of putting them in 
two by two columns. They are now in pyramids, which I think they look a little bit smaller, but they're not hollow. These are like completely full. So I think we should do some fortuning. And actually, check this out. We could do a bit of parkour I discovered. I could double jump on top of the Ashium. If I land this right, I could double jump on top of the Gorgonite pillar. Nice. Well, let's do some fortune. We'll start with the Pog Ores. Uh, hold down main mine key. Make sure it says Fortune 8 Pickaxe. Nice. And we just grab all those Pog Ores. Mmm. Delicious. Yeah. And our Black Opal. Funny enough, we need Black Opal even more than these Pog Ores. And here we go, here's all the Pogors we managed to get. We actually managed to get the most of Sparkle Team this time. And a little bit of Black Opal. We got a stack of every single Pogor except for the Puffium. I think we already have enough to make another Omega Pog except for the Black Opal. We're going to need like 350 more Black Opal. But when it comes to Pog Gems, we got plenty. So making Pogs is just kind of a joke now. Well, time for the satisfying ones. We got all of our pay night. Let's go. Oh, wow. We actually got to bite it twice. Yep, that's a that's a few stacks of pay night. Next up on the list is the Alexandrite, which we already have like a ton of at the base. But you know what? Why not get even more? Oh, yeah, this is ridiculous. And it looks like we got 843 more pay night gems. Nice. Next up is the Wudadai, and this stuff is actually useful. It's in a lot of recipes, so happy to grab a ton of it. Oh, Fortune is beautiful. It looks like we got 700? Yeah, it looks like we managed to get 732 Wudadai. Surprisingly, we got less than the Alexandrite. Interesting. And then we got our two Giga Stacks. We got the Laramar and the Betiatite. So let's get started. Let's grab all that Laramar. Oh, yeah. Woo! Ah, yep, we got more Laramar than we can carry. We have 1,600 just in our inventory. Oh, and I missed some, too. Bop. Yeah, that's a that's a few Laramar gems. And for some reason, I have Osmium in Ward here. I don't know why. And finally, let's go get that Benny. Big Benny. We're getting so much XP from this. It's hilarious. It looks like we got way more Betty and Tite than we can carry. Let's empty it into this chest. Oh, man. All right, it doesn't even fit. We just got so much Betty and Tite. Yeah, so we got even more gems to add to our riches. Nice. I don't think we're going to need any gems for quite a long time. Well, except for Black Opal. Why is Black Opal so much more rare than all the other ones? I don't get it. I mean, I, of course, Echo, but we always need more Echo. You know what? We opened 1,500 Relic Booster Packs. Why not open 1,000 Mystery Boxes? It's mostly probably going to give us a bunch of junk, but maybe we'll get like a backup Pickering. I'm going to throw all the extra enchanted books I get in here because those enchanted books I really don't need. So let's go ahead and start opening. <laughs> Well, uh, to say we got a few items is a bit of an understatement. Well, let me try to sort through this. All right, are y'all ready to see what a thousand mystery boxes could get you? Uh, it gets you this many items, this many items. Ooh, look, we got another Pickering. This many items. Ooh, look, another Pickering. This many items, this many items, this many items, this many items, this many items. <laughs> Yeah, well, like, what is that? I think these ones are empty. Oh, no, no, this one's full, too. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boss crates worth full of just junk. I'm pretty much going to, like, scrap the majority of these books. Maybe I'll keep the unbreaking ones. Those ones are kind of useful, but... And the rest of the blocks, I guess I'm just going to dump into the system and hope it doesn't overflow. All right, we are on the grind to level 75, which means we need to run vault. So, let's just hop into a vault. A vault run a day keeps the doctor away. So let's, let's jump in. Skirt. 
We got Yeezy and Gilded. You love to see it. I mean, it's Gilded Chests go burr. And an obelisk right after the bat, and a three obelisk one too. Dude, this, this vault's this vault's pretty good. And it looks like we already found the third obelisk at 22 minutes. But since this is a gilded vault, I won't fight the boss early because there's there's too many gilded chests around here. I mean, that gilded chest go burr, that gilded chest go burr. Bet you can find another one. Yeah, look, there's one down there, and it go burr. Oh wait. That one just summons mobs. Get out of here! It's okay, we have double jump. We can get out of any tricky scenario and grab another gilded chest. Oh no. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, is that an X marks the spot room? Yes, this is like one of my favorite rooms. There's only a one out of three chance that we get mob spawners, but that would never happen. Alright, let's drop in. See if there's mobs. Please no mobs. Please no mobs. Please no mobs. And it's mobs. No! Now I've already checked out these rooms before. There's 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 nothing good in the mob rooms. It's just it's just mobs. Dang. I mean luckily it's a gilded vault, so there is still gilded chests up and around the X marks the spot room. We just have to jump around and find them. Alright, the lava rooms are a true test of your double jump. I mean, honestly, it does make it kind of easy to just jump over everything. Let's see, I need to go that way, so if I just jump once, jump twice, yeah, you could like clear the whole room. Pretty nice. I spy an end portal, let's go. So just drop down here with a water bucket. Ooh, it looks like we got a few more ores to help replenish all the ores that we've just used. So it's a lot of mobs, so it looks like we're gonna need some more water. More water, until the mobs can't get to us anymore. Yeah, that's right. You don't know how to swim, you idiot. Let's take out the silverfish spawner and activate this bad boy. I goes in the middle, and boom, there's our gilded chest. Now, hopefully none of them explode. <gasps> none of them explode! Let's go! Give me all that loot. Yeah, it's pretty satisfying, huh? Except for when Underwear Man decides to come and attack me. Yeah, let's get all of that. Oh, I heard an Omega sound in there, too. Mm. Oh, we got ourselves a Tedos altar. Let's see if the Tedos gods are gonna be nice to us and he'll grant me with a favor. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I upgraded our dings. I'll show you the recipe real quick. It only costs four vault diamonds and a pog, so I should really uh, upgrade all my dings to the dank three. I mean, the four vault diamonds is a bit annoying, but it could be worse. Dang, no favor. Do we at least get a repair core? No, I mean, the best thing in here is that one catalyst fragment. That's the only thing in here I care about. What a waste of time. Oh no, I heard the sound, my boots just broke. Oh, I'm gonna have to use my backup boots in my backpack. They do give me another level of speed, which is a bit ridiculous, but I lost a lot of protection there. I went from 26 to 24 protection. Much sad. Rest in peace, epic OP votes. Rest in peace. And with six minutes left, I've already been to all the rooms and looted all the good ones. Let's fight the boss in this super sketchy room with a bunch of mob spotters, because why not? We gotta love a good added challenge. Come on, boogie man, let's boogie. Boogie with me. Boogie. You want me to land some crits? I can land some crits. Oh gosh. Just kind of difficult. Woo! Let's go. Easy peasy. Can I open a Pandora's box while I'm in the vault? Yeah, I can. Look, piece of vault gear. How many people you know who opened their boxes while in the vault? Oh, let's go protect our turtles. Be careful. There's husks. Be careful, Watson. Woo! I protected you. All right, so we're level 72 and a half now. We still got a bit of a grind till 75, but don't worry. I'll be doing those off-camera vault runs to try to catch up. Let's see what we got in our boss crate. Ooh, a catalyst. What type of catalyst did we get? Extended, but trapped. You know, that would actually be useful for a CRP vault run, since we don't really care about trapped chests. So I will put that in my pre-rolled positive section. Yeah, we're, we're getting quite the collection of catalysts here. You'll love to see it. We also got one more relic. Can we get something that we need? And the answer is from the shield man set, a sword. Let's take a look at our shield man set. Well, this is the last one we need for the shield man set, but I think we already have one from the shield man set. I'm gonna have to check. Let's go ahead and craft this up anyway. We got a shield man set guy here. Let me uh, go back to the starter base and our door's missing again, of course. Uh, let's go uh, see if there is one. Ah, yes, it turns out we do already have one from the Shield Man set. So this is now our second copy. So what you do with second copies, you just have to smelt them down. So I think I could put it in here. 
Yep, and it gives you a bitter lemon, which adds 30 seconds to the vault timer, but wipes away 30 hearts. Or 3 hearts, not 30. 30 would be kind of bad. So that's kind of neat. We got some vault gear we could roll, including a common plus boots. I desperately need new boots, because as you can see, we only have three protection on this one. I'd like to get something better. Also, I'd like to mention, uh, the tier three dags, you know, the one that I made that I showed you guys in the vault. Uh, it could hold 4,000 items now, which is really good. And it could also hold another row of items. In fact, I added trader cores, gifter statues, uh, yeah, gifter statues to it, because, uh, Say you find, yeah, see in here how it says Trader Core with no metadata as they call it. Once you put it into your inventory, it will identify it. But if you put it into your dank before it gets identified, you could actually filter them out and it helps a lot. But one important thing is don't take them all out at once or you will get the same trade like 12 times. What you want to do is put it in your dock so it sucks into your system. Then you can pull out one at a time and you'll actually get the different trades. So that's just uh, food for thought. Let's go ahead and roll this gear. I really hope we get some good boots. That's all I really care about right now. We need good boots. Oh, we actually rolled epic boots with six protection and four levels. Let's go. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, we're going to woo tax that guy up immediately. We got scrappy chest plate and a five resistance idol, which is it's, it's better than nothing. All right, let's smelt down the scrappy chest plate, but let's level up these boots. They look awesome. Actually, what do they look like? Let's put the mod. Ooh. Those are some spicy looking boots. All right, so these boots have four levels, so it has to give us something good. Let's enchant it up. Knockback, knockback, jump boost, and durability. All right, probably like some of the worst stuff, but jump boost is at least interesting. I mean, we already get jump boost from our sash. So like, how much jump do we have now? Whoa. Oh, combine that with a double jump? We could jump very high now. Wee woo. Can we, like, jump on top of this tree? Woo! Woo! Well, we can. Can we jump up here? Oh, my goodness. This is going to be fun in the vaults. Can I jump onto the factory from here? Oh, almost. Well, that's interesting for sure. So, we have we, we could just jump a ton of blocks. In fact, we don't even need mega jump anymore. I think our double jump is, like, as good as probably the level one mega jump. That's pretty crazy. So guys, make sure you leave a comment to, for what should we name our new epic boots, our new epic jumpy boots. I'd like to know you guys' opinions. And with that, we're out of time for today's episode. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Wow, this double jump plus speed is pretty good, isn't it? I got a lot of vault runs to do off camera to catch up the Chosen. I'll catch you guys in the next one. CWG, out.